Hi everyone. How's it going today? I hope you're all doing well and feeling good. It's always a pleasure to have you with me on my channel. As usual, I will discuss some topics that you might like. I understand that the quality of this video might not be the best, but I hope that the content is still understandable and informative. If you're interested in learning more, I also have a Telegram channel where I share various information that I can't post here. And make sure to subscribe to my backup YouTube channel in case of unforeseen events. So, without further ado, fasten your pants and let's get started. Let us begin with a story. Human life is a story. And yet, it is not one single story. It is an open book full of rich, amazing, powerful, and sometimes dangerous stories. Humanity is quite literally living its own 1001 nights yet across millennia. And just like that book of masterful storytelling, there have been incredible stories that filled the minds and hearts of many millions of people throughout the ages. We live upon and within a story each second of our lives. Some of these stories are greater than others, more epic, more powerful, and more influential. Others are daily stories that fill our pockets and arrange our hours. Yet over and above our stories there has always been a grand narrative. It is this grand sweeping story that narrates and influences the general direction in which humanity moves. And this grand narrative is often so compelling, so full of persuasive detail, that we believe in it wholeheartedly. Like an amazing tale told to a child before bedtime, this tale then becomes woven into that night's dream. Upon waking, the dream feels so real that it lingers far long into the day and until it is replenished once again before bedtime. And yet sometimes, within special circumstances, the dream is so captivating and convincing that it causes the dreamer never to awaken. The dreamer continues to dream the dream that they were told before sleeping. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you learned something. Also, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell, so you won't miss any update. Finally, watch until the end to avoid any misunderstanding. Thank you. Human history is like a dream within a dream, an inversion within an illusion. And as many dreamers know, there are levels within dreams. Like a Russian Matryoshka doll, there are nesting layers of stories that all combine to create an overarching narrative body or realm. And many people, like good dreamers, find themselves caught up within one of the layers. And it can be almost impossible to get out. Even though we are technically awake, we are also dreaming. Why? Because we are living through particular stories and narratives that have been sown, implanted, or entwined in our heads. They get into our subconscious, and from that privileged position, they begin to influence our behavior and thinking from behind the scenes. Even when we think we are awake, we are never free from those stories, narratives, and constructs that manage our perceptions and create the arc of our dreaming lives. To truly be awake, a person would need to know how to drop all these stories and step out of the construct, that is, to turn ourselves the right way up within the inversion. This may actually have been achieved by a few people, yet it has always been considered something odd, esoteric, or mystical to do so. Because to the dreamers, anyone who steps out of the dream must be some weird eccentric, must they not? Or that is perhaps just how the main story goes. We are dreaming the wrong dreams. The mainstream story doesn't like very much when dreamers, sorry, people, try to leave. Why would people want to leave when the story is so compelling? Overall however, this is rarely a problem as so few people ever realize that it is all a dream within a dream, so the issue hardly ever comes up. So, shall we get back to our story? Things in life are not as they seem. Human life is lived as a normalization of this inverted reality construct. That is why life is filled with so many irregularities, oddities, and downright madness. We all know, or instinctively feel, that something has gone astray. We now believe in anything because nothing seemingly has any truth to it. We've become lost within the reflections of our own mirror world. Seeing our reflection smile back at us, we are content with the distraction. Everything must be okay, we tell our reflections, the governments wouldn't lie to us, would they? 
we're protected by benevolent authoritative structures that care for us like our mothers. Oh dear. Topsy-turvy. To let you in on a little secret, it's been like this for a long time. Only that until recently, the waking dream of the inversion was good at keeping everyone asleep, except the rare few, because the trickle of consciousness within the reality construct was low. But something has been happening, if you haven't noticed. There's been cracks in the veil, and more consciousness has been seeping through. And it's been getting into our heads, even if we hadn't noticed. Gradually, people have been gaining more and more awareness over this thing they call the human condition. There have been a few exceptional individuals within each generation that spoke about these things, or even wrote about them. But few people listened, and fewer still read any of their writings, because they had been kept illiterate. But still, the gradual seeping of consciousness into this reality construct continued. And the insights kept coming. Some people were inspired, others gained revelations. But the numbers remained small. The inversion continued to impose itself, to keep the blinders on the dreamers whilst turning up the music. Greater distractions were offered. A glittering array of entertainment sprang up. And incentives were given to those people who began to open just one of their eyes. Those few who suspected something were spotted early on and fast-tracked up the hierarchy of the people pyramid so that they benefited most from the pleasures and gains of the inversion. Then these higher-ups would want to invest in keeping the system exactly how it was, a protection of self-interests. The masses of dreamers, the sleeping mob as they were called, remained swaying to the lullaby. But slowly, the frequency of the lullaby was being changed. A new vibration was being added. I think you get the gist of where this is going. And it arrives to here. Where you are sitting right now. So, what are you going to do about it? Now, it's time for me to hear from you. What are your thoughts on this video? If you found it interesting or informative, please consider giving it a thumbs up and sharing it with your friends and family. Remember, the more people know about these important topics, the better. Before we wrap up, I want to extend a huge thank you to all the individuals who dedicated their time and energy to research and gather the information presented in this video. Their efforts are truly commendable and have helped shed light on important topics that affect us all. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications to be notified when the next video is uploaded. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.